Anna Rigsby. I'm a union sprinkler fitter for local union 669. I've been doing my trade for about seven years. I'm also the one of the local 669 JAT instructors, tutor proctor. Uh, we have so many apprentices that there's two of us. I learned by mistake, but once you do that, sometimes the drill will catch and grip your wrist. So, best practice is to hold it with two hands. And when you drill your hold, you're going to want to make sure your drill is nice and, and straight up and down. You're not cocked to the side, you're not going in at an angle. So, you're going to go straight down. Okay, so now you have your pilot hold. So, once you poke your pilot hold, then you're going to take your bolts off. And you don't, you know, the reason why you don't do it all at one time is you saw the force that once I finally got through the pipe. If you have this on there, again, it's learning by experience. <laughs> you have that on there and you drop like that, what's going to happen is these teeth bite into the pipe and will rip your wrist. And they will bend the pilot bit and then they'll have to carry your ground beat journey. Sprinkler fitters do all sorts of kind of work from residential to commercial to clean room. Right now I'm out at Intel which is a lot of clean room, fab um, work and I've done a lot of TIs. It's when you go into a building and they do a tenant improvement whether the building is being leased out to somebody else. Um, I've done quite a few big jobs downtown Portland. Um, I helped do the remodel on the Portland building which is an entire gut and reinstall. I've done some residential work as well. They have apartment complexes where they do plastic. So there's a, a wide range of work that is involved in the sprinkler world. You can also do service and inspections. So you're not so much turning, turning wrenches, you're doing internal inspections, um, making sure the buildings are up to code, those kind of things. So there's quite a wide array of work for sprinkler. My favorite thing about being a sprinkler fitter is that every new, every day could be something new. One day I could be putting head guards on, the next day you could be, you know, digging a, a lead in for a building, you're digging dirt, um, the next day you could be up at a lumber mill. Every day could possibly be something different. A lot of times I get kind of bored with the punching the clock at the same place, going to the same place, but with the sprinkler world, um, there's just the possibilities of what you might do that day. I've worked at the Tillamook Cheese Factory. I've worked at the Federal Courthouse Building. I mean, from little to big, you could be there. Um, I actually didn't know before I went in for an interview what the sprinkler fitting trade was. Uh, I'll be completely honest. When they said sprinklers, I thought it was ground sprinklers, like lawn care. Um, so that's kind of one of the biggest reasons why I try to be a big advocate, because prior to me, going in for an interview, I had never heard about fire sprinklers. So that's kind of why I'm so gung-ho on trying to get more people in because it's such a life change. It's not just a job, it's a career.